What's up everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great. Good afternoon and welcome to this middle of the day market update as the market is absolutely pumping. Uh, it's very bullish at this point of time. So we're going to do a full full video right here on Bitcoin. What to expect, should you be worried? Um, the short answer is uh, no, but I do think you need to be cautious. Uh, we're almost about to make higher highs. Uh, we've had a massive move right here, which is not very leveraged, which is quite bullish, but still... You need to be cautious. So we'll talk about that. We'll talk about in general what to expect from Bitcoin here. And uh, then we'll talk about the best altcoins right now, of course. Um, so that's what we'll do. Before we get into that, I quickly wanted to tell you about uh, our group we have. If you don't know, I have my own uh, premium slash signal group. Basically the group wherein I send all of my updates on the markets, including news, including everything I'm looking at. Uh, but also signals. So my trades, if you're interested in that, which some of you might be in these market circumstances, consider joining. Um, it's profitable. I share a ton of, of, of useful information about the economics and fundamentals of certain coins. Um, some trades we caught in the last week are, are big time, which is absolutely pumping. We caught it down here. Uh, great trades. Nero, we caught a 50% move all the way or uh, uh, no, not a 50% move, but like a 25% move from down here. Uh, Popcat, we got a 50% move. Phantom is uh, is very bullish for, for us right now. Uh, Mother, we, we took a trade on this morning already, uh, took profits on that. So if you're interested in that, we have a great community as well. Check that out, all right? You don't have to join. I will keep uh, giving out calls for free as well. Uh, so there's no necessity, but I'm uh, doing a big promo. So if you're interested in that, links are down in the description. Now let's get to the markets. Um, so what you can see right now is that everything is looking quite bullish. Um, if you look at the open interest, whereas the move we had last Friday was was very much built on a ton of leverage, um, that is not necessarily the case right now. Uh, there's a lot of spot buying going on. Open interest leverage is up, but it's less than um, it's it's less than than normal. The volume is quite high. The volume at this point of time is is above 35 billion, I, I think. Now it's getting towards that 35 billion mark. Um, there's no Coinbase discount, which was the case last week. Last week we have we had someone who was selling off a ton of Bitcoin in the US session. Right now we're almost at a Coinbase uh, premium, which is very bullish. Um, uh, MicroStrategy, the, the the stock of uh, Michael Saylor is is doing great. That's rallying. The S&P 500 is very bullish. The Nasdaq, Nasdaq is bullish. Uh, dollar strength index is bullish as well, which is a little bit negative. So in short, everything right now is bullish. Now, the first thing I think of then is I should be worried, right? Because if everything is looking perfect, that is usually the time where a lot of euphoria and a lot of greed kicks in. And that's where I do think you need to be careful, all right? So, so right now, the main resistance is basically from where the price is right now, all the way up to the top right here at 68,000. As you can see, that's kind of the top of this trend that we've been in. And the question is, will we break above that? And I think there's a possibility we break above that, all right? It's, it's certainly a possibility. I don't think it's most likely, all right? So what I think for now is, is my, my bias is bullish. As I also said at the beginning, I'm only opening long positions for now, but I do think that in this area, We'll find resistance and we can have a relatively big pullback. We can pull back all the way to the monthly open at 63,000. Um, so I do think you need to be uh, prepared for that. So the, the, the main thing I would say is stay away from Bitcoin a little bit because Bitcoin is very bullish right here. And I do think we can rally up higher. But I don't think the volume and the momentum is high enough to break through. So maybe we have another 3%. Maybe we spike up a bit higher than we have 5%. Uh, but the reward on Bitcoin is quite limited. What I think, uh, where, where I think more opportunity lays right now is if the Bitcoin dominance starts to fall down a bit, which is still very bullish right now. And then I think the main opportunity is with altcoins. Uh, the altcoin market cap right here also looks very bullish, as you can see. Um, so I think that's where the main opportunity lays. So yes, I am bullish on Bitcoin, but I do think you need to be careful there. Um, and I think the main opportunity is with a select group of altcoins that are very strong. All right, because most altcoins will still underperform. But there's a group of altcoins we'll talk about uh, right now that I think are interesting uh, to, to try to look for entries on those. All right. So first of all, talking about 
Um, talking about categories, GameFi and meme coins are the strongest again. <laughs> uh, so you can see here, for example, something like Whiff, something like Boom, uh, Pepe, Bonk are all very strong. Uh, GameFi also quite strong. That's where big time comes in. But I do think that there are some other cryptos that are relatively interesting as well. And that's what I wanted to talk about right now. Is there something else interesting here? Yeah, maybe may, may, maybe something like Rune is trying to break out. So that could be interesting. As you can see, big resistance and just in general got a big breakout here above $5 and 5.1. I think there's opportunities here, but uh, you do have to be careful, right? Because if Bitcoin finds resistance, um, all the altcoins will pull, pull back as well. So I think the main opportunity is with altcoins, but that doesn't mean that you can just buy an altcoin I'm, I'm going to name and you'll make a profit. I think these are the coins to, to, look, um, to look at for great entries. I think Saga has broken out. I think there's an opportunity here, right here, getting some sort of a retest. Um, with, if it's able to hold this breakout above 2.8 and 2.7, is most likely to go into the high threes right here at 3.5. So that's interesting. I think Pendle after a pullback is interesting because it's forming a new bullish structure. Um, Worldcoin, if we pull back into this level right here at 2.2, 2.1 is interesting. And then the, the usual suspects, Aptos, Celestia with um, the uh, negative funding rates right now is interesting. Injective just broke out. That's interesting. Um, Sei and Sui are still very bullish right now, even though they have rallied quite a bit already. Ave. It's on the verge of breaking out and then AFAX, if we're able to get that break about, uh, break, uh, breakout above $30 uh, is also interesting. All right. So there's many, many more cryptos right now that are interesting. The main focus in, is on the altcoins I just named and um, whether you like it or not, meme coins. All right. So keep your eyes on Bitcoin. Be cautious. All right. Be cautious, but be bullish. Those are my thoughts. Those are my closing remarks. If you do have any questions, let me know down in the comments. Like I said, if you want to join our amazing community in the premium, uh, check out the links down in the description. But for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.